Oh, there we go. Right near the dock too. What is this, Atlantic salmon? I don't think this is a salmon. It almost looks like a catfish as well. <laughs> what would the catfish go for a shad? For some reason, I just want to picture this as like a big, just, just a big old catfish down there. How we went from 19 feet to 55, I'm telling you. Pull him up, he nail. Come on now. Bring him in here. Let's go. How's it going, everyone? Bo here from BZ Up. We're playing Fishing Planet today, and this one is uh, pretty exciting. I'm excited anyway. I'm really looking forward to getting in here and trying this place out. St. Croix Lake. Really, really cool fish here. There is a ton of fish. Um, you can look and see, I mean, look at the amount of fish they have here. They have shad to salmon to blue catfish, down to trout and more trout and musky and drum and sturgeon and more musky and pike and bass and bluegill. <laughs> it just, it just keeps going on. There's even walleye here. Uh, there are so many fish here. It is crazy. And uh, luckily, I have my fishing buddy. Right, Bjorn? Right? Right? Are you my fishing buddy today? The fishing buddy? Huh? You're my fishing buddy? Are you? Are you going to help me catch fish? You go. Mwah. All right. He's giving me good luck, everyone. Good luck. All right. Let's get into this place. I can't, I can't stand it. I got to go. I just gotta go. I'm so excited. Wow, look at this place. This is insane. There, this, this is a giant place. Wow. I don't even know where to go, honestly. If I'm honest with you, I do not know where to go. Let's, I guess if I was here, I would probably end up wanting to fish this little, um, little inlet over here. So let's try this place out. It's not going to be the greatest fishing to start out with, but I have caught plenty of fish, uh, during little fishing things like this. So this is what we're going to try out first. And I think, um, and I'll show you my inventory here. It is a rainy day, rainy day. Rainy day, never hurt nobody. So if I show you what I'm working with here, um, on number one, you can skip through this, by the way. I'll uh, I'll put some sort of number either right here or over here so that you can skip through this if you're not interested. Number one, we have kind of my bass setup. Um, we're looking at a 13-pound rod there, 13-pound um, drag on the reel, and then we got an offset hook, and we can switch out this newt with a worm or do whatever because of the smallmouth bass. And the white bass and whatnot thought it would be good to have a bass rod there number two we have one of our bay casting rods set up this time with a, uh, a shad and this is probably going to be work pretty well with the muskies and the pike we shall find out if this is the right color i also have other colors of shad as well green shad i have a glow in the dark shad uh, i have a one that kind of is a little bit brighter there and then a black shad as well so those are my shad types right now i'm running with a hunched runner a little minnow 26 foot action there um you know it, it said that some of the fish went for minnows. I had never had one before, and I honestly got this one from like a mission or something like that, so I figured, you know what? Whatever. Let's try it. It might work out. We also have crankbaits, though, that we can try, and uh, the smallmouths do go for frogs, so I have some of those as well. We did set up a bobber rod, a big bobber rod um, with medium cut bait on it. A lot of fish at this lake go for medium cut bait, so I figured we'd throw that on there. Might give us another uh, another way of getting a, uh, a decent fish, a decent musky or a sturgeon even. Um, hopefully not. Might just break my line if we catch a sturgeon, but a blue cat, maybe a small blue cat would be okay as well. We have a number three ot hook on there, so I'm hoping we don't catch anything too big, but it's always possible. And then we have the Telefloat. Being a new lake, obviously we can uh, set, let's see here, St. Croix Exploration there. Always starts out with some of the smaller fish, as you can see. So I brought the uh, float rod along just in case we wanted to try to catch some of these smaller fish. Because it never hurts trying to catch some of these smaller fish. Look at this blue water. My God. Okay, so we're going to set out our, uh, our rod holder here. Might as well. This might not be the best place to fish. But we might as well because I don't know anything about this place. So we're going to throw out our medium cut bait just to have something out there. And then I'm hoping that this bobber is, uh, is strong enough to hold it up. But I honestly don't know at this point. Let's just throw it out there and see. 
And now we're just gonna throw out some uh, shad and see if we can catch anything with the shad here. Yeah, we did get something here. I could see my bobber line going up and down a little bit there. Ooh, that is near the max there. Probably take a little bit of heft off there. It's pretty close to the top. Whatever we've caught here must be somewhat close to 20 pounds, I would think, unless... It always seems like the really big fish give you a little bit more leeway. Um, so, yeah, I'm eager to see what this is, honestly. Here we go. He's tuckered himself out. We're at 30 now. Oh, yeah. Oh, look at this. It's a blue cat. Wow, look at that. Our first blue catfish and not even like a trophy or a unique at all. 24 pounds, though. Let's take a look at this guy. Look at this, our first blue cat. Oh my goodness gracious, on a rainy day. On a rainy day. That is hilarious. That is awesome. What do you think about this guy, he -nail? He says, this looks like my brother. My brother looks just like this. That is awesome. That is sick. Let's, um, sweet. Um, not gonna keep him, I don't think, even though $1,185 uh, would be a pretty sweet little little bag of money there, but uh, 24 pounds. That's like half half money. Half money. Half hundred per pound. Fifty dollars a pound at that point. So uh, that was pretty cool, but there we go. Got something here. Something small, though. Looks like we got well, we got Northern Pike. That'll work. I love Northern Pike. As you can see here, 5.4 pounds. You know, if that was 100 per pound, we're looking at $540, but we got $627, which even better. Northern Pike pay out quite a bit. So uh, that is a great fish there. And uh, when you can catch lots of pike, you know, you might as well. Might as well, because that is, that is fantastic. Not sure if this white one is really a good choice for this cloudy day. Depends. I think we'll give it if we don't catch anything on this This little cast right here. I think we might switch Might switch to something else here. There we go. Oh got. Oh, what do we get there? Got something A branch Good deal. You always use a branch. Okay. We're moving spots now. Oh, there is a dock right here Well, this is kind of nice I don't know. Let's just toss. Shall we toss a newt or should we toss? Let's do a worm. We're not catching any fish right now. <laughs> uh huh. I know. We're not catching any fish. Can you believe it? I don't believe it myself, man. Okay. Well, I think it's about time we just check out the rest of this lake. This is all pretty shallow. It does get deeper on the other side, though. This is a pretty expensive place to go to as well. If you're like a new player, I mean, it was $8,000, I think, for a license to come here. And then $9,800 to travel here. So we're looking at $17,800 just to, just to come here. So that is, uh, that is an expensive piece right there. Oh! fish right at the end there what do we get oh it looks like a little trout a good sized trout actually wouldn't that be something get a good good sized trout off of this looks like a little yeah brown trout top notch these pay pretty good too six hundred dollars with a 5.88 pound brown trout let's check this guy out oh yeah that's a good sized trout right there. That's awesome. Top notch. First trout we have caught with this setup. That is sick. That is so cool. Definitely keeping him. That is awesome. So we didn't have to cast out that far. He bit it around 50 doing a stop and go with this brightly colored spinner today. Obviously being uh, a little rainy, a little cloudy. Um, I thought maybe the brightly colored uh, spinner might do the trick. 
Well, we had a two and three dot stop and go the entire time. It just we weren't catching anything Which is unfortunate. This might be one of those places where we'd be better off having a boat I mean it is a rather large area So a boat would really help us be able to reach different places that we could Potentially fish at you know There the rain stopped Okay, I'm starting to think that we need to uh, use we need to use something that's gonna allow us to get out to uh, to uh, use some of this water, I guess. So we're gonna use the old kayak and hopefully get back into that old peninsula back in there and be able to cast to the shore um, because when you're sitting on the shore there, it's kind of hard to reach certain areas. So I'm hoping this is definitely gonna help. All right, going with the classic gold casting spoon. Sometimes it's just good to go back. I'm almost at the point where I just need to catch a fish to feel good about myself. <laughs> it is taking forever. I cannot find a fish. If this doesn't get anything, the last thing I haven't I haven't really tried yet is a uh, is a crankbait. So we might try a crankbait because sometimes the crankbait can really drive pike pretty insane. So maybe that's what we should use. Good God. There we go. Here we got something. Could be around the 10, 10 pound area. Oh golly, it's going behind us. This dude's putting up a bit of a fight here. He might actually be a decent size. Get in here, you fish. Look at this, good size northern pike here, 9.3 pounds. Take a look at him with the he nail and the the old kayak. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <sighs> what do you think there, he nail? Yeah, he looks he looks happy. He knows happy, everyone. Very nice. Well, there you go. One pike down and uh, many, many, many more to go. Goodness gracious, we don't even have a tenth of our uh, fish keeper right now. This is crazy. What? What? This was so quick. <laughs> it was like right next to the, the kayak. This is crazy. Look at this little musky here. And why are we holding it up like that? This thing is big. It's just as big as that pike we just had. That is crazy. Big old mu musky. And, uh, and for some reason muskies pay a lot worse than pike. So how about that? That is crazy. <laughs> These sound effects, I'm telling you. What is going on? I feel like things are right in my ear and birds are taking off right next to me. Hey, here we go. What do we catch? A little trophy yellow perch. <laughs> well, it honestly just feels good to catch something again. Goodness gracious, we are just... I don't know what it is, but we are just not catching anything, and it is so annoying. I don't know, let's just go back to white. I, I'm at a loss. I'm at a loss. I mean, they've got to be biting on something right now. I just don't know what that something is. What the frick? This is the strangest lake I've ever been to. No doubt. Like, so many weird things are happening. I just don't even know. I don't even know where to start. I, you know, I just noticed 
that they switched days on me and I didn't even see that. So I'm actually fishing at a terrible time. <laughs> oh God. Okay, so I guess we'll switch to 6 p.m. tonight. The other thing is like, there is no one here. And it honestly just makes me feel like this place just, like, no one wants to fish here. <laughs> I was so excited to fish St. Croix. Because I just thought there would be, you know, pike and musky. Just, you know, lots of fun fish to catch. And it, and it just hasn't been that. What do we get? A little brown bullhead. Okay. What do we get this time? A little golden shiner. How about that? Okay, we're like... We're like near the opening of the marina now. If you call this a marina. Oh, we actually already have. Oh, never mind. I say we actually already have some interest from something. Of course, we're not really. Hey, look at that. Something small. <gasps> no, you bastard. Okay. Got it again. Got it again. What is this, like a white bass or something? It's a Gaspergoo. A little freshwater drum. <laughs> ah! <laughs> At least we caught a fish, I guess. I tell you what, I don't know what's going on, but we are getting lots of nibbles over here with this white shad right now. Oh, there we go. Right near the dock, too. What is this, Atlantic salmon? I can kind of see it down there. I don't think this is a salmon. It almost looks like a catfish as well. <laughs> <laughs> what would the catfish go for a shad? I'll be interested to see what this is. This is strange. For some reason, I just want to picture this as like a big, just, just a big old catfish down there. It is a big old catfish. But uh, how big is it going to be by the time we get in here? That's what I'm wondering. How we went from 19 feet to 55, I'm telling you. Pull him up, he nail. Come on now. Bring him in here, let's go. Just a blue catfish. Not a trophy, not a unique, just a blue catfish. Nothing big about him, 56 inches, 30 pounds. Oh my God. Jeez Louises. That is a blue catfish right there. That is for certain. Goodness. All right. Well, top notch. Got some pictures of this guy, even though he's just what gets me is that they're they're just they're just regular blue catfish. Like that's all they are. There's there's nothing special about them. Um, you know, I'm at the point where I'm just like, forget it. Like we don't have any fish is the thing. Like we've been out here all day and we haven't caught many fish at all. We've got something pretty decent here, it seems. Pulling us out a little bit. I'm guessing it's going to be about a seven pound uh, northern pike. Maybe eight, nine. Yep, eight pound. That works for me, though. That's a good. That is a good sized fish, you know. There we go. Oh, oh, what do we got here? A little smallmouth bass. That'll work. Smallmouth bass pay pretty well as well. Well, there we go. Got something on the uh, the white chat again. I tell you what, we have had more luck. This looks like another Gasper goo. We have had more luck on this little uh, piece of concrete over here than we have uh, anywhere else so far. Crazy Atlantic salmon bringing us back to White Moose Lake there. There we go. Good old Atlantic salmon. That'll work. Here we go. A trophy brown bullhead. <laughs> nice. Two hours later. 
Well, I tell you what, everyone. Um, yeah, I mean, I I wish that I could end this on a good note. I really wish I could. I really, really wanted to love St. Croix, but it's honestly just getting, it's too late now. It's past midnight. Um, I was hoping that we would already have our fish keeper full of fish um, at this point, but I mean, I don't, I, I can't even think of a place where I haven't, where I haven't caught this many fish before. I mean, I'm just like, maybe mud water? Maybe that was like the last place I caught this few fish. I mean, maybe we just got a really bad day when we came here, but uh, my God, like this was one of the worst day fishing I've ever had in Fishing Planet. And uh, there's no going back. I spent, what, $17,800 to get here and fish this, and uh, I don't even think we made uh, half of that back. So that's that is certainly unfortunate. I guess we can look. Yeah, we, we, we made half of it back. Um, and we're going to have to pay a little bit more to move on to the next day, so that is just something else. But anyway, uh, I'll try to fish in the morning. I've been recording on here, and I mean, this has been pausing in between takes um and and trying to really cut down on the record time but i mean i i have a, an hour and 45 minutes of fishing and uh that's you know probably two and a half three hours of fishing and this has just been extremely slow um so i'm really hoping that there's a lot more to st croix out here i know a lot of people really love this lake it's just right now i am not um really getting anything to come after my darn lures and uh maybe the weather's terrible maybe i just don't know where to fish i am looking forward to uh getting some help from all of you who definitely know what you're doing so uh that's gonna do it for now um maybe i won't even use this outro if i end up fishing in the morning and uh, catching a lot more or something like that but until then take care uh, like and subscribe, and uh, yeah, as always, everyone, keep gaming, never stop.